Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. And again, it does not matter what sport you're betting on, we have everything for you right here. Before we get into picks for NFL football for week 6, I want to invite you to join so you have access to the VIP club section, which will help you make all your picks. So let's take a look at some of the matchups here, as we are already more than a quarter of the way through the NFL seasons. So let's get started here. Tampa Bay and Philadelphia. We're not going to look at every game here. We're going to look at five for this week. Miami and Jacksonville. Cincinnati Detroit. Here's the first game we want to look at. A classic NFC North battle between the Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears. Both teams entered the game burning hot status, as you will see. But the Packers are a four and a half point road favorite with odds of 1.48. To 2.612 and the over under is at 45.5 see that both teams are burning hot at the moment if you take a look at the power ranking indicator though you can see here that green bay is at plus 22 and chicago is at plus 15. if you're considering the over and under for this game if you look at the totals predictor you see the packers have been trending in games over the line while the bears after last week were trending under the line, but before that they were trending in games over the line as well. The score predictor, if you look here at the score predictor, have the uh, Packers handily winning by a 28 to 14 score with 79% confidence. That's a high level of confidence in prediction. You know so that that total would go would fall in the under if that would be the case. Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. The first time this season we've been using this. This shows how stable the two teams have been, how consistent they have been according to their favorite underdog status, and you can see that Chicago plus two, Green Bay plus one, so both teams relatively stable. Let's take a look at the money line right now. Let's see if there's any line movements. You can see here it opened at 1.45 for the Packers, and it went up to 1.41, and is now at 1.481. So you can see that the Packers are still a strong favorite in this one. I do believe that the Packers will come away with a road win. I do think they will cover the spread. And I do like the under bet. Houston, Indianapolis. Kansas City, and Washington. Minnesota and Carolina. Here's the next one we want to look at. Minnesota enters Carolina to face the Panthers. And a team that actually blew a... Big 12 point lead against Philadelphia last week, so their average status at the moment, they have lost their last two. They are 3 and 2 in the season. And you can see Minnesota is coming off of a win, and they are ice cold up. Minnesota is actually a 1.5 point road favorite with odds of 1.8 to 2, with an over and under of 45.5. Take a look at the power ranking indicator. You can see Carolina has dipped from plus 30, and after their loss, they have dropped to 19. And Minnesota is at three at the moment let's take a look at the over under you can see here minnesota has been trending in games over the line for quite some time here while carolina has been trending under the line so usually when that happens i like to avoid the over under bet in this one uh let's take a look at the score predictor the score predictor has minnesota 25 carolina 27 so carolina with a two point win with 52 percent confidence now if this would be the case this would go over, so since this is over, and the total predictor shows under, I like to avoid the over under in this one. As far as who will come out and win the game, I do think the Panthers will bounce back from last week, and they will win the game and cover. It'll be a close one. I think it'll be like a field goal, but that will be enough to win and cover. The Chargers and the Ravens. This is going to be a great matchup. The Chargers come in four and one. The Ravens come in 4-1. Both teams are burning hot. You can see here that the Chargers have won their last three, and the Ravens have won their last four. Baltimore is a 2.5 point favorite with odds of 1.62 to 2.276, and the over-under is sitting at 52.5. You look at the power ranking indicator, not a surprise that both these teams are around the, at the top of the league. The Chargers are at plus 30, Baltimore is at plus 27. The totals predictor, you see that the Chargers have been trending in games under the line since uh, September the 19th. 
and Baltimore has been up and down with considered with a respect to the line they are now under the line. The score prediction has the Ravens by a 31 to 22 margin, but with the percentage of confidence of only 53 percent. So take a look at that before you make your pick. Um, right now, that would put them barely over, you know, 53 compared to 52.5. I really don't like betting the over and under on this one. It's too much inconsistency. I do want to look at the volatility oscillator quick. See how stable the two teams have been. You can see they're both at zero. So, eh, moderate as far as stability goes. So, I wouldn't take too much uh, into consideration what the actual favorite underdog status is at the moment. As far as the money line, let's see how the line has moved. This is the Ravens money line. You can see they opened at 1.549. And it did move quite a bit here up and down, and it now has stabled off at 1.62. As far as the outcome of the game goes, I do like the Ravens. They played great ball against uh, Indianapolis late in that game. This past week, I do believe that the Ravens will win and cover by will avoid the over-under. Cardinals and the Browns, this should be another very good matchup. The NFC we, the West meets the AFC North in this battle. Uh, the Browns are a two and a half point. Actually, it's uh, one and a half points now. A one and a half point home favorite with an over under of uh, 49.5 and the odds of 1.64, 2.23. Cleveland is average stats at the moment is coming off of a 47 42 loss to the Chargers. And you see the Cardinals are burning hot. They have won their last four, including a 17 to 10 uh, win over the 49ers. The scores prediction has the Cardinals by five points, 32 to 27, with 82 percent confidence. That score would put the game well over the line. The totals predictor shows, though, that the Cardinals have been trending in games under the line, as as has Cleveland. So that gives me an indication, probably, to avoid the over/under bet. On this one, if you look at the power rankings indicator, both teams are on an upward trend. The Cardinals are up at plus 31. The Browns at plus 4. A month ago, they are all the way up to plus 27. How stable have the two teams been? If you look at the volatility oscillator, you can see that both teams have been performing very consistently according to their favorite underdog status at plus 3 for Cleveland and plus 2 for Arizona. Take that into consideration. See the money line updates. You can see this is the money line for the Browns. It started at 1.62 and stayed consistent. And then and there's a quite a bit of movement there and up and down. And it's now at 1.41. So pretty much right where it started. As far as the outcome of this game goes, I do like the Browns to win at home and cover the spread. Dallas and New England. Raiders at Broncos. Uh, the last game we want to look as we scroll down through here. This is the last one we want to look at for today. The Buffalo Bills and the Tennessee Titans. The Bills come in at 4-1 and one, and one of the top teams in the NFL. You can see they are burning hot at the moment. Winners of their last four, including a 38-20 route, basically, over Kansas City. A very impressive win there. And Tennessee is average status at the moment. They are coming off a 37-19 win over Jacksonville. The odds right now, it's a 6.5 point favor for Buffalo, with the odds of 1.37 to 3.078, and the over-under is a high 54.5. The score prediction has Buffalo with a route of 37 to 15, but that would put the total under. The confidence in prediction is nearly 60%. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see Buffalo is up at plus 28, while Tennessee has dropped from plus 21 down to plus 14 over the last week. The total is predicted if you're considering the over and under, like we always do. You can see they're right near the line in Buffalo, hovering right around the line in their games. Tennessee has been trending in games over the line for yeah, so pretty much as long as this thing has, as long as we've been keeping track of this. So this might be a good indication to bet the over. Uh, but I really don't think it's going to be that way because Buffalo has a very tight defense. I don't think Buffalo is going to score as many points as what it's showing here, 37 to 15. I do like them to win, though. I do like them to cover, but I like to bet the under in this one.
So there you have it. Those are the picks for the week. Week 6 of the NFL season. Happy betting, and we will see you next week.